Welcome back. We're uh, here at the bridge with our shiny T. Not really shiny. It's rusty as fuck. But we got T60 armor in the last episode, uh, so that's cool. And now we're headed back to Diamond City because one, it's daytime. Beautiful. Look at the clouds. They're beautiful. Look at the sun. Uh, it's bright. Um. So hopefully we can get there during the day and actually turn in some quests because we got a shitload of Diamond City quests that we've had forever that need to be turned in. And then, look at this. These, these raiders, these are raiders, aren't they? No, they're not raiders. I'm going to keep my gun out, actually. What are y'all doing? You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Let's see what you got. Oh. Exactly what you need. It's a merchant without anything. They got money. That is about it. I think I might have something you can have. Maybe. Maybe not. You want a fuse? All right, you know what? Just give me give me 100 caps. Or what? Relax. I'm not here to cause any problems. Good to hear. Never know who you'll encounter around about in the Commonwealth. Hands where I can see them. Quit being so paranoid. Hey, this paranoia is what keeps us alive. That's so unusual that she's like, usually the shopkeepers have names, but the escorts are just like guard. Caravan guard or gunner escort or some shit like that. You know when they don't, they don't have names. That's so weird that those two do. I wonder if they're involved in anything that I've just never encountered. Could be, it very well could be. You know what? We should have just gone back to Overland and fast traveled. That might have been quicker, and I kind of regret that decision now because it's. It's going to take a little bit to get there. Especially since I think we've already been through this area before. Yeah, this is the lady who sold all the vegetables and was dead and we stole everything. And there were some people fighting up here. Which have probably respawned and are currently fighting. I'm not clairvoyant. People are just assholes. I wonder if this shit's respawned. Anything good respawn in here? Oh, nope, I don't want the pistol. That's 50, 50, 50. Whoa! Careful with that gun there, buddy. Children of Adam. We haven't encountered them yet. Good job. You gave me a little bit of radiation. Why does everybody got to be so aggressive? Can't y'all just fuck off and not be? Hey, a carrot. We're going to take that carrot. Um, I bet you her gun's worth a little bit. 100. I've considered picking up guns to sell. But they're always just so heavy. We're going to take his gamma gun though. Because we don't have one. And they're, they're kind of cool. Ooh, hub flowers. We're actually going to take those. So we can make some... Was it Jet? Jet or Psycho? One of the two is made with hub flowers. Hey, look, Jet. Speak of the devil. I don't expect anything to be in here. Maybe a floor safe somewhere, but doesn't quite look like it. Squirrel bits, if we can ever get the stuff to make stew. Okay, um, where the fuck is Diamond City? I think it's in this direction. It's actually more probably in that direction. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Can't go that way. 
maybe this way? Assuming... Yep, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> he took a long time to die. Oh boy. Yeah, I was afraid of this. There's super mutants over in this corner that I was hoping to avoid. I mean, we probably still could have mostly avoid them. Maybe. If we're lucky. Nope. No avoiding. They know we're here. We're going to go shoddy. Once again, worst gun ever. You know what? Here, get a little, get a little vats in your face. <laughs> Look at a little bit of spine sticking up. Uh, that's funny. Tactical incendiary 99 value. Oh, we're actually super close. We're actually a lot closer than I thought we were. I thought we were in a different part of town. Um. But I was mistaken. It's like a long whoop 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 radix. Long slow walk this way to get there. That's what I was hoping to avoid. That wait, why do I have a quest over there? What? I'm not going over there. That's a area I don't want to go to. I know what's down there. What do? Why are all the um the guards dead? I didn't fuck with the. Were you killed by super mutants? I mean, you're okay. Probably still a douchebag, but you're okay. Okay, we actually made it to Diamond City during the day. This is good. Alrighty. We have two hundred two thousand caps, so considering You can't stop the press. What? Hey, not. hey mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Cool. Um God, even the sky ain't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood of Steel? Who are they? Hey, you see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? It's kind of surprises me that these people don't know who the Brotherhood of Steel are, since they're they're an organization that spans the country. West side West Coast and East Coast, you know? Anyway, uh, first thing we're gonna do is turn in all this paint. Hopefully, we can turn in more than one since I have three of them. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume you can use just whatever paint and fuck with him, but. We actually have green, so... And I have to sneeze again. Every time. Ha! Huh. Working hard. Mmm. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment. And a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Do you want the other paint? It means a lot to this city. You helping keep the wall pristine. I got more paint. No? Okay. We hit 27. So let's see. Should we put it in science so we can modify our laser rifle? Or, or geez, there's a thousand things we could put it in, in all truth. Uh, anything weapons based, which I suppose is good. We could put it in armor. Science definitely needs it right here. Scrapper could be good. Or nuclear physicist since I've basically decided to always have power armor. Or a straight up charisma bonus. 
Uh, I wish we had more points. I'm feeling charisma, in all honesty. But these are close. I'm close second. Hmm. Okay, we're going to take charisma this level. Because I think it's a while to weekend. 35, 31, 39, 40. Yeah, our other major skills, we can't upgrade it until we get into our 30s. So. Yeah, I think we're just going to do charisma. Maybe we can start getting some more bonuses. Unlikely. Since I think our charisma is still at 5, but... A man can dream of once being charis of being charismatic at some point, right? That sentence came out weird. Um, also, we're gonna go talk to this little shit heel over here. Maybe he'll actually give us his quest, since I know he has one. There's a reason. There's always a reason. I do most things for a reason. Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Want to help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. Depends. What's this worth to you? Uh, no. Fuck. We're not doing this. Hundred caps for the job. No haggling. I'm on it. Ugh, Just see? I knew it wasn't going to happen. Never clean your carcass out of there. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and tag this so they actually appear. There's a bunch of small little junk like a skull. And... Ooh, no, no, no. No, no. I think I just gave it away with the creatures. That's the console command I used to, to fight it. So if you're really curious, you can find out, but... Is that it? Nope. So many rads. I think there's... Nope. It's just a skull that you pick up that's like weird. Everything else is just junk. Give me my fucking money. How about you suck a dick, little child? Shang, why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? No. Gonna pass. Hey, don't blame me if you die of thirst. Cool. That's a little thing you can do. Alright, let's see, we got a little bit of time left. Don't be a moron. Pop up today. Oh, actually, a lot of our quests are kind of evening time, like the bar fight and... You know what, actually, um... Uh... Yeah, he didn't want the paint. What was his name? Uh... Kellogg's terminal password, Bullfinch. Mickey, you old fuck in a vault, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery. I thought we'd get your circuit firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Daniel Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. So that's the quest. the To get the grasshopper and then the grave and the sword, and we've already done all that, so. Holy shit. Now that is some armor. Yeah, so damn right. Where did, no, 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 hey. Any luck getting those relics? Yeah. Future of baseball could depend on barrels. Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. Oh, this baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies 
beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. And you're still an idiot. <sighs> Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Arturo. You need protection. Everyone does. I need more bullets. I mean, I'll everybody needs that too, Everything but... Everything hand tool. Alright, Arturo. What can you do for me in the way of bullets? Probably a lot, but I don't think... I got a shitload of stuff to sell. A little bit of jet... I can get 18 bullets. Um, yeah, you know what? Here, have some, have some of this. We're gonna sell these two. 109. Don't think. Oh, you know what? Here, have some free paint. And ooh, pre-war money is actually three dollars each. That's not three caps, I guess. And have a skull. All right, Arturo, what kind of ammo you got for me? Um, five five six is five caps each. I guess they're all five caps each. So we're gonna buy the five five six. One hundred and fifty caps worth. Boom. Here, I'll give you one cap. Cool. Um, we got two or three minutes left, so I think we're gonna. There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. So this is all for a good cause. Don't get me wrong. The caps are my primary motivation. If I get to take them from a bigot, that's just icing. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. If you really think we need this guy... Trust me. This is the guy we need. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. Alright, so we're gonna... This will be the last thing we do today. Um, this being one of many reasons I took a point in Charisma. You'll see. You'll, you'll see in a second. We shall see. Mel here. Can I help you? Do you come here often? You know, they always say you'll meet that special someone in the last place you expect. So why are you here? You want something from me, right? I am getting you out of here. If so, maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Looks nice. Officer. You got something to say? I was hoping to get Mel at a lockup. No way. Ah. He's gonna serve his time just like everyone else. You got something to say? I was hoping that would work. Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. <laughs> Just between you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. I was hoping to get 
Mel at a lockup. No way. He's going to yeah. serve his time just like everyone else. I think once you fail it once, it fails always. So let's see about this Protectron. I don't know if that's an option to get him free. Last time I did this, I actually managed to talk my way out. We shall see. Okay, genetics. Uh, TDI is the same. That's the only similarity. I again. E. Wait, what? None of these match up, or am I just blind? The T, and yeah, that's another thing. Okay, so we did genetics, volatile, V-O-L-A-T, T-I, okay, volatile. Wow, um, please don't activate this Protectron unit again. The thing has been on the fritz for months now. In case you are new or just ridiculously forgetful, this unit started opening fire on civilians out of nowhere on a routine patrol. No one can seem to fix its targeting procedures, so we are taking it out of rotation indefinitely. I have no clue why we haven't ripped it apart for scrap, quite frankly. Thank you for your compliance. Wait. This seems like a bad idea. Mail here. Was he planning on just having this thing? You know what? Let's just bribe the cop. Maybe I should threaten him. Can I threaten him? Hey, officer. No funny business. Hey. You need a haircut. To John at the super salon. Uh, let me ask you something. Crazy question. You didn't see a flying ship recently. Okay, so it must be this guy. Wait, this guy. Hey, you were the one that walked that freedom trail, right? That's good. <laughs> Go, freedom. Yeah, officer. You got something to say? Yeah, how much? Three hundred caps. Jesus. Keep your voice down, will ya? I shouldn't be doing this. But fine, if you need him that bad. All right. Free to go, buddy. You didn't see that. Come on. Let's just get out of here. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? All right, we got mail out. That's uh, that's gonna be it. Took two minutes longer than I thought it would, but you know that happens.